Welcome back to VAC News, the video channel for industrial vacuum applications. My name is Wolfgang Wieland. For quite some time, VAC News viewers have asked me when can we see a video where you will show the series, the standard products of Wieland Lufttechnik. And therefore, today the IS range. IS is a German abbreviation and stands for industrial vacuum cleaner. And today I will show you the IS range from 3 kilowatt to 7.5 kilowatt, the series products at Wieland Lufttechnik. The IS series from IS 36 to IS 76 from 3 kilowatt to 7.5 kilowatt consists of four units. We have here the IS 36, which is 3 kilowatt unit. Then uh, from the outside, identical, the IS 46, the 4 kilowatt unit. And then a little bit bigger, the IS 56 and the IS 76, the 5.5 kilowatt unit, and the IS 76 with a 7.5 kilowatt vacuum pump. And on the outside, another IS 76, a 7.5 kilowatt unit, equipped with quite a number of optional equipment, which I will show you a little bit later. The basic design of the units is identical, and I will show you the 3 kilowatt unit, the IS 36, a little bit more in detail so that you can understand the particularities of these units. Here you can see uh, the suction inlet. For the smaller unit, it's here towards the rear. The bigger units have the suction inlet towards the front. Uh, you can see here the uh, collection container, the container for the suction material, which can be taken out with the lowering and lifting device on its own wheel, so that's very comfortable. And it is also possible to insert a plastic bag into the container so that the suction material can be taken out of the container with almost no contamination. Uh, above uh, the collection container, then the filter, the main filter. I will show you that in detail. And here is a space where, as an optional equipment, uh, we can install a safety cartridge filter for the uh, dust class H units, uh, for toxic types of, way, uh, of dust. Uh, the uh, cartridge filter is a standard equipment. And then we have here the air shock flap. Air shock is a device for uh, filter cleaning, pneumatic filter cleaning during the operation of the unit. And behind the filter separator, we have here uh, in, inside this housing the vacuum pump, which is the three phase vacuum pump for all of the units, which you can see here. Here it's a three kilowatt vacuum pump designed for continuous operation. I will put the IS36 now on its side so that you can have a look uh, into the filter compartment of the unit. This is no problem as the unit is really designed in a very very stable way. It's all solid metal sheet and uh, the chassis is very strong rugged so that th this is no problem for the unit. And uh, if you will Take a closer look. You can see here uh, the, uh, the uh, centrifugal separator of the unit. The suction material with the suction air comes in here and has to go around a circle. And therefore, we have really have a very good uh, centrifugal separator here before the filter. The air then goes around here, this edge, and uh, will go to the filter. But a large amount of the dust. Uh, which has been sucked into the unit will already be separated or will be separated by the centrifugal separator so that only a small percentage of the dust will actually get to the filter and this uh, protects the filter and the filter wear is really minimal at this unit. You can also see that there are filter spreaders inside these filter pockets so the filter pockets are rather stiff and this is very important for the filter cleaning device. Only a design like this with stiff filter pockets and filter spreaders inside the pockets uh, will have a good cleaning effect when the um, filter cleaning, when the pneumatic filter cleaning is activated. Uh, other designs have rather loose pockets and uh, the cleaning effect, the cleaning efficiency of a filter cleaning device is then not very good. Let's take a look at the vacuum pump which is inside this housing. The housing can be taken away very easily like this to the rear and then you can see here the vacuum pump uh, driven by a three-phase motor 
three-phase motor are designed for continuous operation and are maintenance free as well as the vacuum pump below which is also completely maintenance free there's no maintenance to be done at this part of the unit and uh, of course there are also ATEX units available designed and certified for the use for application inside a zone 22 and uh, then of course all the electrical components the complete vacuum pump with the electric motor the switch but also other electrical components uh, you might choose a uh, level probe and then a filling level probe for the container or an automatic uh, filter cleaning device which then works with solenoid valves all these electric components need to be certified if the unit is certified as a whole for the application for use inside a zone 22. I just showed you the 3 kilowatt unit the IS36 then here the IS46 the same design really but uh, more suction power and then here 5.5 and 7.5 kilowatt IS56 IS76 with even more suction power and a little bit bigger but basically the same design um, if your job is standard factory cleaning cleaning of floors and of machines machinery then the 3 and 4 kilowatt unit are usually more than sufficient uh, the 5.5 kilowatt unit and the 7.5 kilowatt unit are usually used when we have much longer suction distances for example if the units are supposed to be connected to a fixed pipework system then you can easily cover a distance of 50 meters or more with these units or if you have large amounts of suction material to extract it and then we always recommend the use of an additional uh, separator pre-separator which is an another item and can have any form and any size either stationary or mobile and will be used together with one of these units uh, the type of pre-separator depends very much on your applications and we need to take a detailed look at your jobs and jobs you want to be done in your factory in order to decide which unit and which pre-separator if you require one would be the right choice for you as I said in the beginning uh, here on the outside on IS 76 7.5 kilowatt uh, with quite a few optional equipments which uh, the unit has and I will show you these these are mainly electrical optional equipments and therefore as you can immediately see the electric control here at the rear of the unit which controls the filling level probe inside the collection container so that the unit switches off when the maximum filling level is reached there's also an indicator light here to show you that and then you have here uh, the continuous and automatic air shock filter cleaning device which works automatically and will clean or will maintain the filter in a clean condition during the operation the filter cleaning device can also be activated manually by pushing this button here and the unit is switched on and off also by buttons here on the electric control there are a lot more optional equipments available than you can see here at this unit for example there's a sieve insert available to be inserted into uh, the collection drum the collection container in order to separate metal chips from oil or from other liquids all units by the way are designed as a standard also for liquids not only for dust but uh, the centrifugal separator which I showed you is also very very effective for liquids so these are dust units but also liquids units uh, there are stainless steel versions available we have here the possibility I already mentioned that to install a safety cartridge filter for some units the safety cartridge filter is an option for other units is a standard depending on the type of unit there are units available for dust class H dust class H means toxic dust or very toxic dust even and these units have as a standard the safety cartridge filter certified for dust class H here in this position uh, there are many other optional equipments available and of course there are also ATEX units available not only for zone 22 but also for many other ATEX zones these are really standard units designed for series applications which means that they must comply with any application that you might find in, uh, in your production environment uh, we can cover all possible applications with these units
I will now show you the suction power of these units. I've already prepared a little bit of suction material here and we have connected a flexible hose to the IS56 to the 5.5 kilowatt unit, medium sized unit in the IS range. And uh, also the uh, floor cleaning nozzle is already prepared. Very important, all flexible hoses are equipped with uh, the swiveling device here. The suction hoses can actually turn on both ends and this is very important for the operator. When the operator moves around and turns, uh, the uh, hose can actually turn here and we don't, will not get these spirals on the floor, which is very awkward for operators and which will happen if you have a stiff connection here. That's it for today. I hope the video was interesting for you and that you could take away a few ideas how to use these units for applications in your production environment. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again at the next video. Bye bye.